Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. Today, we got an amazing product from Finercy called DMT99. This is an all-in-one multimeter. It has a high quality body with a 2.4 inch full color TFT screen display. It measures AC voltage as well as DC voltage. It can be used for test and measurement of electronic components like resistance, capacitance, diode, and VC, continuity, live wire, temperature, etc. This is one of the best multimeters I have ever used. In this video, I will unbox this amazing tool and show you how you can use it. So, let's get started. The product was officially sent to me by Finercy. The packaged box is amazing and looks like a premium quality box. Let me open this box and show you what the items inside the box are. So here are all the items included in the package. The main thing you can see here is the multimeter. It does not have any rotating knob like other multimeters. Rather, it has five main buttons. It runs on a lithium ion battery which is chargeable. The box also has a pair of probes to connect with the multimeter. It can be inserted into the holes here and ready to be used. The box also has an instruction manual which is available in different languages. The manual has a diagrammatic explanation of uses of the components and tools. You may follow the manual instruction initially to learn its uses. To power on this multimeter, simply press this big button and it will turn on the device and it can be seen on the LCD screen. It has a built-in 1500 mAh rechargeable battery. In case you want to charge the battery, plug in this Type-C USB cable and the device charging starts. During charging state, do not use the multimeter for any sort of testing. Some of its features includes a 2.4 inch full TFT screen display with a resolution of 240 x 320. It measures AC DC voltage, AC DC current and can be used to test resistance, capacitance, continuity, diode, NCV and live wire etc. In intelligent mode, this digital multimeter can identify the measurement contained and select the range with the best resolution. The maximum count it can measure is 9999, which is a very wide range. There is one good function like it can plot. The multimeter can plot measured value ripple that changes over time is drawn, and the fluctuation of voltage or current over time can be observed. Now, let's have a practical uses. Currently, the multimeter is set to auto mode. Let's test this resistor value. So it shows 5.1 kilo ohm, which is correct. I have a few capacitors here. To measure capacitance, press this button here and switch to capacitance measure mode. So as you see, the capacitance value is measured. I will check it with another capacitor. And yes, the value is updated correctly. Let's check some diodes. This is a general purpose PN diode and if tested, it shows the continuity. This is the Zener diode and you can see here a potential difference of 0.7 volt across its terminal. You may test the LED as well. The LED will turn on based on polarity. Apart from diode testing, the same setting can be used to test the continuity on the PCB boards. I have a few boards and I want to test the continuity. To measure the DC voltage, I have a lithium ion battery here. So it shows a nominal voltage of 3.7 volt, which is a standard voltage for any lithium ion battery. You can measure AC voltage with this too. Just put the multimeter to AC voltage mode and start measuring the voltage. The AC voltage in Canada and the USA is 120 volt, which is displayed perfectly here. I also want to measure the frequency of this AC signal. For that, switch it to the frequency mode. So it shows a frequency value of 60 Hz, which is correct as well. 
The multimeter can also measure the room temperature as it has an internal temperature sensor. Here it shows the temperature of my room, which is always in the range of 2 to 35 degrees Celsius. You can also measure AC and DC currents using these multimeters. To find out whether there is a supply voltage or not, you can use the live wire test mode. Just use this selection mode. You need to insert just a single prop for testing. If the contact is neutral, it will show no connection in the multimeter. In case if it's a live wire, it will show the live wire connection. One best thing I liked about this multimeter is the NVC mode which is a non-contact voltage tester. To use that, simply turn on this mode. Now move the multimeter towards any direction near to electrical supply. It will keep beeping and the beep increases as you approach more near. I have tested this functionality with other voltage sources and really this feature is just amazing. Overall, I found this multimeter very useful. The purchase link for this multimeter is given in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.